This video will show you how to access the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud font library so that you can add to the number of fonts that you have available to you for your uh, projects that you'll be using uh, or you'll be using Adobe software. Uh, by default, you will usually see this Adobe Creative Cloud application icon running um, on your top menu bar that's showing that that's actively running but if you don't have that uh, in your menu bar on a Mac uh, you can go into your applications find your creative cloud application and you can start it right uh, start it right here all right so when we click on this uh, creative cloud application it will uh, open up with this window and this is where uh, you can see which applications you have already downloaded which ones like in my case that uh, are in need of updating uh, when you're ready to get Adobe uh, Acrobat uh, you'll find that in here as well uh, but what we want to look for is the fonts and these are your resources here and so we're going to click on fonts and then now that's going to open up a, a web window where we can search through the Adobe fonts. Now, as part of your Creative Cloud um, subscription, you've got unlimited access to fonts that you can that you can activate here. You might not want to go too crazy because if you have too many fonts that are active at, at any given time, it can slow down your uh, your Adobe applications when you're working with them. But you've got a lot of access to typefaces here so to kind of uh, make it a little easier to to search uh, you if you know the name of the typeface that you're looking for you can type it right in here and search uh, or you can search by ca uh, by type category or classification so you can look through your sans serifs and it will only show those available to you and you can see there's you know 58 different screens worth of, of sans serifs there that you can kind of browse through. Uh, same thing with your serifs, your slab serifs, there won't be as many of those, uh, but you'll have uh, many choices there for the slabs. Uh, about 10 screens worth of, of slab serifs and uh, all these other kind of, of uh, categories you can look for as well. Uh, the decorative fonts, uh, they have very limited utility, but one place where you actually might have some use for the decorative fonts would be in this first project, the uh, typography uh, poster. So take a quick look at that and you know you can look through all these different typefaces and find something that you think is a uh, is a good match for the mood that you're trying to evoke with uh, with the quote that you're using. So let's say that uh, Blenny is one that I want. Uh, so I can click on it and it will show me um, uh, it will show me some of the details on this font. And if I want to activate it, uh, I can activate it here or here. And then now that will be available to me. Uh, in any of my Adobe Adobe applications, you see the little notification there saying the font Blenny Black was was activated. Uh, if I go back to my uh, <clears throat> back to my menu, you can also search for typefaces based on certain characteristics. So if you want light, regular, bold, if you want to just lim uh, refine your search to that, uh, condensed, regular, expanded. If you want to search by X height uh, uh, with a small X height versus large X height, uh, contrast and the, the variance in the stroke width, uh, all of these kind of things you can use to filter your searches. Um, let's, look, uh, let's jump around here a little bit. Okay, so let's say, let's say for whatever reason you like HWT Mardell. Um, this is one of the things you have to be careful with decorative fonts, as, and that is that many times they have uh, severe legibility issues, uh, and, and you're just going to have a hard time. Uh, you're just going to have a tar hard time reading this type. But let's go ahead and activate it for fun. Okay, now that you've activated the, uh, the typefaces that you want, uh, you can go back into your Adobe applications, and those typefaces should be available to you. So let's give this a try here. So let me uh, set some type. Let's move that a little larger so you can see all right
right, so that's what this type looks like in Myriad Pro at 60 points. Now let's search for the two that we just downloaded. Make a couple copies of this. And let's see, the first one we downloaded was Blenny Black. Let's see if that's available to us. Scroll through, there it is. And then the second one was HWT something. There it is, HWT Mardell. All right. Um, so there you can see the different legibility issues, but that is, in a nutshell, how you activate uh, additional fonts through your Adobe Creative Cloud account.